So today we're, being, we're going to be doing the anthropometric measurements. When we're measuring the anthropometric measurements, you're actually measuring the height, the weight, the head circumference, and the head circumference, you're only going to do it if the patient is three years and below. Pitani and mock or mid upper arm circumference, but you're only going to be measuring it if you're measuring anthropometric measurements for malnutrition specifically. No? So, it's going to be the height or weight. Oh, and high this scale. Uh, this is the scale for the um, height and weight. The most important thing is to always make sure that the smaller one is at the zero. So, make sure you take the smaller one to zero. Then, you ask the patient to step on it. So, you're going to be moving the big one. Move the big one more than the weight of the patient. And you'll see it go down. Huh? Then, go back. There you go. Mm -hmm. So, go back until it's above. Yeah, it's deep here above. If you get the wall, it's below. So, we go to the back one. So, we are start playing 40. Then, we're going to go again more with the smaller one until this one starts floating in the middle. So, we're going to go, go, go. But if it fell, that means this is too much. So, we go back a little. Still falling. Go back a little. And if it started, if it starts floating from muscular, or in the middle, that means you're at the correct measurement. So you read the measurement, the ticket and the fork, or the bottom and the top, and you add them together. So this is the 40, and this is 10 10.5, so this, this, this weight is 50.5. Yeah? Then you, you register it or save it so that you're going to be plotting it on a chart later on. Yeah? For the height, what you're going to be doing, you're going to be pulling this, and you're going to need a ruler. If you have that, you can see the ruler that you can if it's not attached to it, you're going to need an actual ruler. You move it up, and then you put the ruler on the head of the patient, and you move it down again back until it's on the same height as the height of the ruler. Then you read a measurement in here. So, the arrows are going like to read, and you're going to read it, you're going to read the centimeter one. So, this is about 157 centimeters, approximately. And then again, you're going to be plotting it on the chart. So, let's talk about the chart. Plotting a chart, how do I have that? Is to be plotting it for three things. For the correct age, for the correct gender, and for the correct measurement. So in other words, at age, in the two charts. Give birth from six months, Ufi, from two years to 20 years. So you make sure you're using the correct chart. Give birth the gender, one for male, one for female. And lastly, for the correct measurement. So make sure if you're plotting the height, if you're plotting it on a height chart. If you're plotting the weight, you're plotting it on a weight chart. Well, get our so the charts, again, as we said, make sure you're using the correct chart because as you can see, there's a lot of different charts. The chart that is both for the height uh, and the weight together at the same time, the charts that are separate. So let's use, yeah, let's use this one. So for example, I'm measuring the weight of a female or a girl that is 18 years old, let's say. So we're gonna be using the height, the, the weight chart, so it's for the correct measurement, for the correct gender, for the correct age. What you do is that you basically go for the correct age, choose the age, 18 or so, and then you choose the measurement and make sure it's on the right, in the right unit, so it's on kilograms. And let's say she was 50 kilograms, with the 50 kilograms, and you see where the two lines meet, you know? And you make a small cross at the area where it meets, okay? Or a small dot. Now, as long as it falls in between and lines there, that means it's normal. And the ones that are abnormal are usually below or above a lines. Then afterwards, you follow the line where it's, it's plotted, or the closest line, and you see which number it is. So this one is in the 25th percentile, approximately. Uh, so you, you comment on two things, if it's normal or not, so that it's normal or average, and then you look at the percentile, and you see which percentile it is. So say the, the patient's weight is normal, and it's on the 25th percentile. Yeah? If it's on the 50th percentile, you also mention that this is the average weight. So the 50th percentile is the average weight. Mm -hmm. huh? That's for charts. Next, in the and head circumference, and the uh, mid-upper arm circumference, which we're going to be measuring for the malnutrition list. Huh? So for the head circumference, we have the baby, and we have the meter. Make sure that the scale, so we have the baby and we have the 
um, scale uh, tape make sure that the tape is on the centimeter side and you're going to make sure that you have to measure it on the most prominent areas of the, of the head so on the occipital protuberance and on the most prominent part of the forehead so we start by putting it on the forehead obviously I have to put it on the forehead on the forehead you go all the way past the occipital protuberance and you come back and you measure it you're going to be measuring whichever part that hits this metal so approximately 34.3 centimeters and then you measure it and then you plot it on the chart again right. for the mid upper arm circumference in the two important landmarks which are the acromion of the um, shoulder and the elbow joint so then put the tape on the elbow joint and pass it all the way to the oh, sorry on the shoulder joint and then pass it down till the elbow joint and we see how long that is let's assume it's eight centimeters then you half the number to get the mid upper arm so it's four centimeters and if you four centimeters you put your 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 tape and you measure it it's approximately the a bit less than 10 centimeters huh? the, for this the for the mid upper arch and circumference you're not going to be plotting it you're just going to be using the cutoff value which is 11.5 centimeters if it's above 11.5 it's normal if it's below 11.5 that means the child has malnutrition and basically this is it for the anthropometric measurements